Hi and welcome back. IKEA just released your cousin folding table. If you remember your cousin stand laptop, then this is similar in some way. Material using particle board, plastic edging, and steel. You can check the details at IKEA website. Size height 110 cm, width 59 cm, depth 35 cm. Now let's take a closer look. The frame using steel. It is thick, looks strong. Moving on, the tabletop using particle board. It is smooth and it feels slippery. The edge is sharp, so be careful. The legs frame is also thick and strong. Okay, underneath the tabletop, you will see this locking mechanism. It is made from plastic. You can turn this. This is the frame holder. Tabletop is pretty thick and strong. Overall, I find the build quality pretty good. I want to say this is not bad. I can sit properly. Good for working with laptop. Looks pretty stable. But it is also feels weird. Because this frame hanging around in front of me, it is distracting. Tabletop size is small. You can put up to 40 inch laptop. I can place my hand easily. Overall, it is pretty good. I feel this is too narrow, not spacious. When I try to shake it, the tabletop is wobble a little bit. The height is perfect, but my thigh always hit these legs whenever I move. So you should be careful when you move around. Compared to this stand laptop, it is easier to move around. No restrictions. Let me show you how to set up the table. You see this mechanism to lock the table? Turn it to release or open. Slide the legs frame. Pull down the tabletop. After finish working, you can fold it back again. With weight around 6 kg, it is easy to carry around. The price is Rp1.299.000 or around $90. Color options, easy to set up, foldable, you can hang it on the wall. The frame is distracting, the edge is sharp. The size is too small. Should you buy this? Well, it depends on two factors. First, do you really need a foldable table or not? Because folded table means you can save more space. And it is really helpful. Second, is the price or budget. You see, the stand laptop is way more cheaper. Well, although it has a drawback, the stand laptop is wobble, setup is way more annoying, and you cannot hang it on the wall. Both products have plus and minus point. With these two things to consider, you should be able to choose which one to buy. Okay, thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please click like and subscribe this channel.
help us to reach 5,000 subscriber. See you later in the next video. And bye-bye.